I'm going to try to make a game every day for a week. I really like this game, two free four player games. I play it with my dad, little brother and sister all the time. And I want to copy it. I have two goals. First is to make f at least five games. Making a game every single day of the week might be a bit hard with having a life. And the second goal is to make my sister think that one of them is not mid because she thinks everything is mid. My sister really likes this crocodile one. You just click a tooth, hope it doesn't kill you. It's just pure chance. So surely this will impress her. Making the crocodile, fairly easy, except for the bits that weren't. Making the teeth be able to be clickable was a pain. Had to use a lot of Googling. Googling was used in some other places too. <laughs> and drawing, I'm not very good at it. I looked at the image in the 2 3 4 player games, the thing I'm copying, a lot of times. It still manages to look not very good. <laughs> so I added sound effects and added a super secret cheats mode. My sister will surely love this. <laughs> so here's my crocodile game. If you tap the nostrils and eyes, it activates cheats mode. If you try to activate it again, cheats mode enabled. But you actually lose. My dad and little brother really liked it, but my sister called it mid. What? I'll make something good the next day. The next game I stole was Sushi Stack. This one was heaps complicated. First I had to draw the all sorts, they're just squares, that was okay. Then I had to make the player buttons. These will be used in a lot of games, so it's important I get them right. Then I had to make the all sorts spawn at a certain time, like make a timer, then make them fall when you click the buttons, and then make it work for all four players. And then the worst bit, scoring. I had to have a bar which goes up, and when it stops touching stuff, it stops counting score. But then this is broken and buggy and doesn't work half the time. And then there's all sorts get stuck half the time. It's awful. Ah. It took hours and I'm missing a lot of things like sound and different types of all sorts, not just different colors, like different shapes. Here is all sorts stack. It, it, it's missing a lot of variety and charm and well, like anything. It, it's super basic. So understandably, my sister called it mid, but I was not deterred. The next day, I'm gonna make something super not mid. So it's day three now, and I'm thinking of making a memory game. Like you flip cards and you're trying to match fruits or something. It seems pretty easy, probably won't be. Uh, let's, let's do it. So first I drew pictures of fruit. These are the things you're gonna be matching. Fruits sounded easy, they weren't really. Then I made it so they displayed on cards that you can turn over. Then I made it so you can, you have to flip two of them, then they'll flip back, and then scoring, and then lastly I added sound effects, which was really hard. I don't know, I'm not good at sounds, I just googled them. And then I did some testing, fixed a lot of bugs, and made it so you can win. This is probably out of order, but I think that's what I did. <laughs> okay, so this is my match game. You just click two cards and hope they match. If they do, you get a point and an extra turn. There's nothing that special about it. And that's the problem. In making a game every single day, none of them are any good. They're just all rush. You can't rush quality, so that's why they're all mid. So the next day, I'm not going to make a new game. I'm going to clickbait you by not making a new game every day. I'm going to fix what I already have and try to make them not mid. I made the home screen look a little nicer, added a leaderboard to keep track of points, and added an info pop-up for credits. I really wanted to improve the Licorice All Sorts stack game, but I didn't get enough time to do that. I might have to do that the next day. So I didn't do too much on day five. I just made the all sorts all be different. So the green one, it's bouncy, small and annoying. The yellow one's very energetic. Pink one's big and heavy. The white one's mid and the orange one's very sticky. So day six was a big day. So I wanted to copy this catfish grabbing game 
where you have to tap right to get the fish and not get the bomb. So I opened up my photo P, which is photo, free Photoshop, tried to draw something, and I sucked at drawing a fly. It took me a long time to discover that I could just Google stuff and get free images. So I did that. And then I drew a really bad fly swatter. Probably should have got a free image online for that too. <laughs> uh, I did some epic coding stuff. I didn't bother recording that because it's kind of boring. And then with all that epic coding, I got some game. And I think this is the least mid of them all. It's still kind of buggy though, so better fix those. Tomorrow will be day seven. And I wanted five games in a week, so I better think of something. Oh yeah, and my sister thinks all of them are mid still. I don't think I'll ever make something not mid. <laughs> so I've made this template system, so making the next game was actually easier because I just copy-paste what I made before. Then I made some timer things, made them work. I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I copied this t timer game. You just click when it reaches a certain time. This is actually is genuinely mid. So this is my timer game. There's not really much to show. You just click when it reaches a certain time. Yeah, th this is mid. Making a game every day for a YouTube video, it's not a very good way to make a good game. Yeah, I, I don't think I realized that. Unfortunately, my sister was right. These games were mid. If you want me to prove her wrong, subscribe to this channel where I'll be making this game better. Whoa. Don't do a game every day for seven days. You can't actually do it. And if you try, you make seven mid games. If you want to not see a mid game, watch this video here. Whoa.